Hello children. Um, the story I'd like to share with you today is Captain Flynn and the Pirate Dinosaur's Missing Treasure. So here's our front cover. And I'll quickly read the blurb for you. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho, pirate dinosaurs, go, go, go. Those dirty rotten dinosaurs are back and up to no good. Some treasure is missing and guess who's to blame. Luckily, Captain Flynn is on the case. So shiver those timbers, climb aboard. We're all off to Bagabones Island. So this book is written by uh, Giles Andrea and illustrated by Russell Ato. This is Flynn. Flynn loves dinosaurs. Tomorrow is a very special day because Flynn's teacher, Miss Pye, is taking his class to see the, dino the dinosaur skeletons at the museum. So here's Flynn in his bedroom and you can see children. There are lots of clues that he loves dinosaurs, can't you? Got a dinosaur lamp. He's reading a dinosaur book under the bed covers. I think that's probably a map of the world with a dinosaur above it. And fabulous dinosaur mobile. So he's probably so super, super excited, isn't he? So here we are, said Miss Pie. Now stay together and don't touch anything. Flynn's class followed the museum guide to the skeleton room. Wow, said Flynn to his friends Pearl, Tom and Violet. That one looks really scary. This is the Gigantosaurus, said the guide. He was even bigger and more ferocious than the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex. So I looked at these pages, children, and thought, gosh, I don't know which looks more scary. This one looks really scary because he's got really sharp teeth and his spine his bones just look his rib cage there looks super sharp doesn't it but then if you look at this as an adult he's the guide look at the size of that foot someone's looking petrified aren't they well, they are to skeletons they're not alive in the next room there was a big glass case but it was completely empty. It used to hold the treasure of the famous pirate Captain Rufus Rumblebelly, explained the guide, but it was stolen last night. Real pirate treasure, said Flynn, who liked pirates almost as much as dinosaurs, but who could have stolen it? Look, said Tom, maybe these peculiar feathers are a clue. So Tom spent uh, spotted some peculiar feathers that he thinks might be a clue. They seem to be leading to that cupboard, said Pearl. Let's follow them, said Violet. So Flynn and his friends quietly opened the door and slipped through. The cupboard was cold and dark and full of cobwebs. Wait a minute, said Flynn. What's that? He bent down and picked up a gleaming gold coin. And look, here's another one. It must be treasure, said Violet. And just at that moment, the back of the cupboard fell away and Flynn and his friends all tumbled out into the captain's cabin of an old-fashioned pirate ship. I'm just going to let you look at those pages showing those gleaming golden coins. Let's spot them off. And then that's the way the illustrator has shown this. You can see by their arms and legs really, can't you, that they're tumbling. Help, help! shrieked a pirate who was tied to a table. My treasure! They've stolen my treasure! Treasure asked Flynn as he quickly untied the pirate. Why the famous treasure of Rufus Rumblebelly, said the pirate. I'm 
Gordon Gurgle Guts and Rufal, Rufus Rumblebelly was my granddaddy. I took the treasure from the museum just to have a little look, but then someone stole it from me. That's amazing, said Flynn. We're looking for the treasure too. We'll help you find it. But only if you promise to take it straight back to the museum. All right, said Gurgle Guts. I promise. He's Gurgle Guts, all tied up. But who stole it? asked Flynn. I don't know, said Gurgle Guts, but I did hear a strange song as they sailed away. It went, yo ho ho, yo ho ho, Bagabones Island, here we go. Hmm. Then that's where we'll go, said Flynn, to Bagabones Island. Come on, everyone. Aye, aye, said Gurgle Guts. And why don't you be our captain? Here, take my hand. Here's Captain Gurgle Gut's hat, and he's passed it over to Flynn. And here's the ship that they're sailing off to Bagabones Island on. Island ahoy! shouted Pirate Violet from the crow's nest. Follow me, everyone, said Captain Flynn. There's thick jungle ahead, and we don't want anyone lost. Gurgle guts, gurgle guts, where are you? Wait, said Pirate Pearl. What's that noise? In front of them was a clearing. <sighs> Captain Flynn peered into it and shuddered. Pirates, he said. But they're not just ordinary pirates, they're dinosaur pirates. And he was right, there was... Pirate Diplodocus, a pirate Stegosaurus, a pirate Triceratops, and a great big pirate Tyrannosaurus Rex. Beside the pirate dinosaurs was a huge pile of gleaming treasure, and next to the treasure, tied up from head to foot, was Gurgle Guts. The pirates were singing a terrible song. We've stolen all the treasure, we'll use it at our leisure, and won't it be a pleasure for us all to live like kings? And don't think we've forgotten that this pirate's rather rotten, so let's barbecue his bottom with some spicy chicken wings. Oh. A barbecue his bottom? There he is, all tied up, ready for the barbecue. Stop, yelled Captain Flynn. Untie my friend immediately. Now, when I read this story, children, I think that um, Captain Flynn's really, really brave because he's so much smaller than all the dinosaurs that he sees. He's super brave, isn't he? We couldn't possibly do that, said the Tyrannosaurus Rex, squeezing a huge dollop of tomato ketchup onto Gurgle Guts' head, because we're going to eat him up. Well then, you slimy seafaring sausages, said Captain Flynn, drawing his cutlass. A cutlass is like a pirate sword. You nasty, noodle-brained nincompoops. You dirty, dastardly dunderheads. You're going to have to eat me first. Attack! Gosh, look at him. There's the catcher. Going on gurgle guts. Here's Flynn, our brave Captain Flynn. Slash! Swoosh! Crash! Suddenly, 
Captain Flynn took a huge swipe at the Tyrannosaurus Rex and pinned him up against a tree. Please spare me, said Tyrannosaurus Rex, and I promise to be the goodest goody in the whole world ever. There he is, pinned up against a tree. You great big fibber, said Captain Flynn. Fibber, eh? said the Tyrannosaurus Rex angrily. Well then, I think it's time you met my cousin. I wonder who his cousin is. The ground began to shake and an enormous shadow fell over the island. There was the hugest, fiercest, most terrifying looking dinosaur in the whole wide world. Gulp, said Captain Flynn. Who are you? I'm Gigantosaurus, roared the dinosaur. And I'm so big and tough and scary that nothing in the whole wide world ever frightens me. He's a little Captain Flynn. It's normal size, but look at the Gigantosaurus. He is gigantic. Then suddenly... Ah! Cried the Gigantosaurus. Spider! Spider! A tiny spider was hanging from Captain Flynn's pirate hat. You can see it there. Look, Gigantosaurus, little Captain Flynn, down here, and a teeny weeny spider hanging from his hat. And that huge, gigantic Gigantosaurus was afraid of it. Well, shivery timbers, said Flynn. Fancy a big old dinosaur being scared of a teeny weeny spider. They're just so creepy and crawly, wailed the Gigantosaurus. Keep him away from me, please. In all the commotion, everyone getting excited and dashing about and everything that was going on, Captain Flynn saw his chance. He quickly freed Gurgle Guts and in a flash, all the pirate dinosaurs and the Gigantosaurus were tied up. Then Captain Flynn picked up the treasure. Quick, gang, he said, let's get back to the ship. It's time to go home. And off they sail. Wow, that was super fast. He was very clever, wasn't he? To organise all that in such a short space of time. So look, there they are, climbing back onto that pirate ship and heading home. I, we can see the dinosaurs. I can't see... I can't see in the illustration very well that they're tied up, but I will show you it anyway. There they are. Off they sailed over the ocean. We can see the inside of the ship here. All the different levels, the hammocks. Pirates sleeping. Land ahoy! cried Violet. So the children hugged Gurgle Guts goodbye. Then one by one they clambered through the ship into the cupboard. Remember, it's the cupboard that they fell through the got them onto. So can you see? Here they are, and they're clambering up there back to the cupboard. And back in the museum, wherever have you been, said Miss Pye. We found the missing treasure, said Flynn. My goodness, said the museum guide. Well done, but who stole it? It's a long story, said Flynn, but it ended up in the hands of some pirates. Oh, and they weren't just pirates. They were pirate dinosaurs. Ha! Pirate dinosaurs, laughed the guide. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard in my whole life.
pirate dinosaurs indeed no they are children back in the museum here's the guide who thinks it's the silliest thing he's ever heard but we know different don't we and just for your information added flynn i can tell you something about your gigantosaurus he was frightened of spiders very frightened indeed i hope you enjoyed that children i think it's a super book um i'll see you soon take care bye